Russia is set to make a strong pitch for its advanced fighter jets at Aero India 2025. The nation has confirmed that its Su-57E, the export version of its fifth-generation stealth fighter, will not only be on display, but will also take to the skies for aerial demonstrations, showcasing its capabilities to potential buyers. Adding to the excitement, sources indicate that Russia will also unveil a static prototype of the Su-75 Checkmate, its single-engine fifth-generation fighter aircraft currently in development. While not yet ready for flight, the display will allow a close-up look at the Checkmate's design and features. In a move aimed squarely at the Indian market, Russia has offered to set up a production line for the Su-75 Checkmate in India. This proposal aligns with India's Make in India initiative, promising technology transfer and local manufacturing. Such a partnership could significantly boost the Indian Air Force, IAF, and contribute to India's growing defense export ambitions. Russia clearly sees India as a key potential customer for the Su-75, capitalizing on the long-standing defense cooperation between the two countries. Securing an Indian order would be a major win for the program and provide valuable feedback for further development. Rostec, the Russian state corporation behind the Su-75, is actively marketing the aircraft to Argentina, India, Vietnam, and Iran nations looking to modernize their air forces with stealth capabilities. Interest has also been noted from several African countries, indicating a wider potential market for the Su-75, particularly where cost-effectiveness is a major factor. However, the Su-75 program faces challenges. Still under development, it has experienced delays and technical hurdles. Its success will depend on overcoming these obstacles and demonstrating its performance during flight trials. With competition from established fifth-generation fighters like the US F-35 and China's J-20 and J-35A, Russia will need to emphasize the Su-75's unique advantages, such as lower cost, easier maintenance, and adaptability. Russia is offering India attractive incentives, including technology transfer and the possibility of local production under the Make in India initiative. The Su-75 is seen as a potential alternative for India to counter the growing military capabilities of China and Pakistan. However, the signals coming from New Delhi are not in favor of the Russian manufacturer. India has repeatedly stated that it has its own similar program, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, AMCA, and does not want foreign alternatives. This stance is not limited to Russia. New Delhi has also refused a potential acquisition of the F-35 from the United States. UAC has announced that two prototypes of the aircraft are currently being built. One will be intended for static testing, while the other will be used for flight tests. According to a company representative, the Su-75 development program is nearing completion, and prototype production is expected to begin soon. Some analysts suggest that prototype production will start next year. The Su-75 Checkmate is a Russian fifth-generation single-engine fighter project developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau and first unveiled at the MAX 2021 Air Show. The aircraft is aimed at the export market and is positioned as a more affordable alternative to the American F-35. While official technical specifications are still unavailable, various Russian military analysts and experts speculate about its capabilities and equipment. The Su-75 is expected to be a stealth platform with a significantly reduced radar signature. Its external design, featuring internal weapon bays and streamlined shapes, suggests the presence of radar cross-section reduction technologies similar to those of the Su-57. The materials and coatings will likely include radar-absorbing composites, but their effectiveness remains unknown. The engine that will power the aircraft is also a subject of speculation. It may be a modified version of the Isdalia 30, the future engine for the Su-57, which promises improved thrust, fuel efficiency, and advanced thrust vectoring control. The Su-75 cockpit will likely be equipped with a glass cockpit, featuring several large multifunction displays integrated into a cutting-edge interface similar to that of the Su-57. 
Artificial intelligence is expected to assist the pilot by providing real-time tactical suggestions. The aircraft will probably also feature a helmet-mounted targeting system similar to those used in modern Western fighters. Regarding avionics and electronic systems, the SAU-75 will likely be equipped with an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, as its primary sensor, allowing it to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. Electronic warfare, EW systems, will be critical for its survivability in modern combat scenarios and are expected to include jamming and deception technologies to counter enemy radars and missiles. There is no confirmation on whether it will feature integrated electro-optical systems for passive detection of enemy aircraft, but it will likely use an improved version of the system developed for the Su-57. The Su-75 is expected to have a substantial combat load, including air-to-air -air missiles such as the R-77M and R-74, and precision-guided air-to-ground weapons. Its armament will likely be stored primarily in internal bays to maintain low radar visibility, though external hardpoints may be available for additional payload when stealth is not a priority. One of the main selling points of the Su-75 is its relatively low cost compared to Western counterparts. The manufacturer claims the aircraft will be significantly cheaper than the F-35 while offering competitive capabilities. This makes the Checkmate particularly attractive to countries with limited defense budgets that cannot afford the most expensive fifth-generation fighters. Russia is actively seeking international partners for the development and production of the Su-75, with India, the United Arab Emirates, and some Latin American countries mentioned as potential customers. However, the program faces multiple challenges, including Western sanctions that hinder access to critical components, as well as uncertainties regarding the actual readiness of its engine and avionics. The first flight of the Su-75 was initially scheduled for 2023, but there have been no official reports confirming that it has taken place. According to some Russian sources, the program may experience delays due to financial and technological obstacles. In summary, the Su-75 Checkmate is an ambitious project aiming to offer an affordable and effective fifth-generation fighter for the international market. While its technical characteristics remain speculative, the concept suggests a modern stealth aircraft with advanced combat and navigation systems. If everything goes according to plan, serial production could begin in the late 2020s, but this remains uncertain given economic and geopolitical circumstances. However, whether this project will be realized within the initially announced timelines and achieve the promised capabilities remains a question only time will answer.